It's been my main soldering iron for 18 months. Let's find out how she's doing. Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we could take a look at this soldering station, the uh, KSGER T12 soldering station. I've had it for almost 18 months now, and it is my main soldering station because it is incredibly convenient to use. We'll see how it's doing. So I originally did a video on this, uh, I think it was January or February of uh, what 2019. And these were selling for about 65 to 70 dollars US. Now as of today, which is June 7th, 2020, Amazon has them for as low as 59.99. And if you prefer to shop in the Far East, the lowest price that I am seeing on AliExpress is thirty dollars and eighty three cents so yeah you know, pay an extra twenty dollars and get it quicker or you can save yourself twenty dollars if you're not in a hurry now my main complaint I had with this soldering iron when I first got it was this OLED screen and uh, let me plug it in here use the standard IEC connector take a second for it to light up there we go now the, my problem wasn't the rolling screen because here comes a big truck the rolling screen is simply a function of the camera speed I don't see a rolling screen here in real life my problem was that it was simply too dark to see what was going on and uh, I'll show you how I fixed that We'll take a look at the insides. So this is an extruded aluminum case. Yeah, standard construction you're going to find for all things of this nature. It's really easy for the manufacturers to whip something like this together. It's low cost. So you're going to find these extruded aluminum cases in a lot of products. In fact, you might find the exact same case in a whole bunch of products and there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm gonna get the screws out. Okay, I removed all the screws from the back and then we can simply slide things out like this. And the only thing attached is the front. Let me get those off too. Okay, front screws are out. And we can remove that, and you can see we basically what we've got here. Oh, I think I missed one. Come on out of there. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we've got basically three parts to the construction of this here. I'm not going to go over the whole thing again. We have our IEC block, we have our main circuit board, and then we have our control piece here. And what I ended up doing was removing that nut there, removing that nut there, taking the control board away from this aluminum front panel, and behind here, behind that OLED, attached to the front panel was a very focus was a very uh, thick piece of smoked plexiglass acrylic whatever it was you can see the gap in there now where I removed it took it out and everything was fine so that was a simple fix that made this an incredibly useful device there you can see our MOSFET driver transformer Really simple circuitry, diode, bridge. It's like a bull with goggles. <laughs> and it's well built. You can see they've got some nice uh, nice separation there, nice tracks. In fact, we can actually yeah, focus. We can measure the distance in those tracks. 
the digital calipers here. Now we're looking at 2.3 millimeters uh, separation there. Really nice. Again, this is just, it's well done. You see an opto isolator there is the only thing bridging the gap between the high and the low sides. Now this gets, I would say, n almost daily use. Um, probably 24 out of 30 days a month, this guy is getting used. And, and if we take a close look at the components on the circuit board, I don't notice any type of heat damage. There's no doming in any of the capacitors. Everything looks great. Looks like, you know, brand new. The one thing I do find a little bit chintzy is here on the IEC connector. You can see those are spade lugs that they have simply soldered to the board. I mean, it's, it's a solid enough connection, but it's just not a very professional connection. But then, you're not going to get that in a $60 soldering iron. So we had a pretty good look there at the brains of the operation, but what about the business end? Well here it is. This is where it plugs into the board. You can see that it's keyed so it can't go wrong. It's a relatively flexible, I don't know if it's really silicone, it might be some type of vinyl, but I haven't had any trouble with it. You can see even here on the strain relief the whole thing looks very good. There's no markings on it. There is the uh, soldering iron handle itself, looking very good. Yeah, some of the writing is worn off, but you know what do you expect? The tips are the T12 type. I'm using a T12 IL tip here. I mean, you see some corrosion here, but I keep my tips relatively neatly cleaned and shiny, and there's no problem tips are relatively available as are replacement uh, hand pieces. A replacement hand piece uh, is available on AliExpress for $1.98. So consider that a consumable I guess. You can go through it really quick. So we'll plug this in. And I'll show you just how fast it gets up to temperature, which is one of the main two reasons that it has become my number one iron. Okay, so we'll flick it on, and it will beep when it comes up to temperature. Let me get a, uh, my phone so we can see a timer. All right, I'm going to flick it on and try and hit the start button at relatively the same second. There we go. Three fifty is the set point. About seventeen seconds. I'm not going to get into the particulars and the operating of this thing. You can uh, take a look at the first video. I'll link to it down below, and you can see how everything goes. I just wanted to report back to you guys that after having this for basically a year and a half, it has become my number one soldering station because it's a great product and it works. Uh, replacement tips are also available. I got this three pack off of Amazon for $9.99. So if you're looking for a soldering station, I highly recommend that. Uh, if you don't want to spend you know $60 or so for a soldering station, check out Cyber City Circuits. They got some stuff there. They're an American company run by veterans. Uh, you can't go wrong doing business like that. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Please be safe out there. That's it. I'm out. Peace. 
I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. A dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.